Okay, you will see in the non-sprinkler compartment we have ignition. And that ignition is occurring in a what would simulate a, a trash can. We're eight, nine seconds in from that flaming combustion till we have sufficient smoke to set off the smoke detector. So if it's nighttime, we're starting to wake up. Uh, we hope, as recent studies have shown, uh, oftentimes children don't wake up. Oftentimes uh, elderly people may not wake up. And oftentimes the impaired may not wake up. So while it's an essential component for home fire safety, um, it is only one method. Okay, we're at 52 seconds, and the compartment is now starting to fill with toxic gases. At 165 degrees, our lungs start to fail to work properly, and that space or compartment becomes untenable. As you can see, if you were trying to e exit that space, the importance of staying low, staying below that hot thermal layer, which is not compatible with life, and the importance of getting low and exiting the structure. The national average for a fire department response is about four to six minutes. In New Hampshire, it's probably closer to 10. So we're not even two minutes in yet, so the fire department is nowhere near your, your home, nowhere near being available to suppress this fire. In these compartments today, there's a lot of wood and cloth, um, but as we all know, and as we talked about earlier in the class, you know, the average room is going to have a lot more plastics, a lot of polyurethane foam, which is all going to uh, accelerate uh, the development of this fire. So, under circumstances, uh, maybe that you are lucky enough to live next door to the fire department, maybe they're now here and able to uh, suppress this fire. Hopefully everybody was alerted by the smoke detector and was able to uh, exit safely.